Hey guys and welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Claude, I'm an artist and somewhat of an unreliable YouTuber. <laughs> I just read a comment by Marium Ahmad, I hope that's the right way to pronounce your name, and they commented on my last video, can you please make YouTube videos even when it's not October? <laughs> This made me laugh so hard. <laughs> I know it shouldn't and I'm sorry, I'm horrible, I know. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to try and make YouTube videos even when it's not October. <laughs> so grab your pencils, pens or paints and uh, draw along with me. Um, I don't think I have uploaded a video of me simply sketching with a pencil in my sketchbook. I don't think I did. Um, but some of you asked me to do more real-time stuff and I figured this would be a good way to start. Um, I will cut some things out of this video. Um, I have about two hours of footage of me sketching. And there are parts when I'm drinking coffee or my hand is not doing anything because I'm looking over to the YouTube video I was watching. And also I, I really can't voice over a two hour long video. <laughs> I'm not that interesting and I don't have that much to say. Oh, and also I'm really into watching true crime videos at the moment. I watch pretty much everything from Eleanor Neely. I hope that's how you pronounce her name. I'm sorry if it's not. Um, I also watched Molly Westbrook. So if you have any other channels that make um, longer true crime videos, then please let me know. So yeah, one of the reasons why I wanted to upload this video is um, yeah, the real-time stuff, but I also am currently trying out a new camera. And I figured me sketching in a sketchbook would be the easiest thing to film. I've been filming pretty much the whole week and adjusting the settings of this camera and it's a lot better than my old one. And it's not really new new, but it's new to me. This camera belongs to my husband. And he had it for quite a while. I did consider using it before. Um, I just had no idea how to make it work for me. This thing is a lot bigger and a whole lot heavier than my old one. So it never seemed like a very practical camera to me. I can't use the arm that is attached to my desk that I use for overhead shots. Um, because it can't hold the weight of this camera. And just looking at the menu and all of its settings gave me a headache. But I finally decided it's time to sit my butt down and figure this out. It's still not perfect. The position of the camera is a bit annoying. I don't like looking at what I'm drawing from an angle because I always mess up the proportions. But so far this is the best looking footage and I figured I might as well share it with you. So I can have at least one video in November. <laughs> no, I, I hope it's not going to be just one video. I hope. It's a shame that the leaf blowing guy decided to make his return today. He already finished half of the lawn yesterday and I thought I was real smart by starting early today but yeah no he gave me about five minutes of silence before he continued to blowing the leaves and he still didn't manage to finish the lawn so I guess uh, he will continue tomorrow to finish his epic trilogy of Will he finally finish the lawn? I still hope that I will eventually manage to make a whole video with some drawing noises. I couldn't do it before because the microphone of my old camera was shit. But now the quality seems to be good enough for me to capture the pencil noises. So I might do some shorter videos without any voiceover and just the sounds of me drawing. Oh, look at me being so hopeful and talking about some future video ideas. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope I will manage to make any kind of videos. <laughs> But yeah, I prefer to watch or to listen to videos where somebody is talking. And I think the majority of you do too. There might be people who can stand my voice or maybe just don't enjoy videos when somebody is talking constantly. So yeah, I'm gonna try that out. Yeah, that's been pretty much everything I've been up to. I also rearranged my desk a bit and I'm still not done with improving my workspace, but I'm getting there. Right now, I'm just glad that I figured out this camera somewhat because uh, yeah, I definitely need to start putting out more videos out there. Um, I know my track record isn't looking great, but yeah, no, but I know I'm horrible. <laughs> 
I just now realized that I haven't been talking a whole lot about my drawing. Um, I mean, there isn't really a whole lot I could say about it, to be honest. But I started using notebooks a lot more for sketching than sketchbooks. Um, this one is by Moleskine, but I don't think the brand of notebooks is that important. The paper of all the notebooks seems to be pretty similar. And I only bought it because it was on sale. With sketchbooks, I always feel the need to use some color because when the paper is thick enough to take water, then I feel like it would be a waste not to use some watercolor in it. And currently, I'm really not that interested in making colored sketches. Somebody on IG asked me if the dots in the notebook are helpful in some way when I posted some sketches yesterday. And I don't really use the dots for anything. It's not like their guideline. It's just kind of nice to already have something going on in the paper. It feels less precious than using an expensive sketchbook. I never feel the need to put more time or energy into my drawings than I have to, so maybe that's the reason why I have been sketching a lot more lately and feeling just generally a lot more relaxed and good about my art. So usually this would be the end of my voiceover because I can come up with anything to talk about for longer than five minutes, but I still have quite a bit of video left and I asked the people of Instagram if they have anything they want to know that I could answer in this voiceover. I don't know if I can answer all of the questions. If not, then I'm just gonna keep some around for the next video and answer them then. So here's the first one. How do you come up with ideas? This is a question I get asked pretty often and I assume that other artists get this question too. And I get why. It's pretty frustrating to look at a blank sheet of paper and nothing happens, no ideas, there's no inspiration. But there's also no secret to coming up with ideas. And if there is, then I'm not in on it. What helps me to overcome this is to draw even without a great idea. I don't need to be inspired or have something in mind just to start. And I can fill up several pages with drawings that I don't care that much about. But among them, there might be one drawing, even if it's the shittiest little sketch that sparks something. And I'm sure that everyone has their thing, something they like to draw, whether it's people, animals, plants, landscapes. Everyone has something they gravitate towards, so just start drawing that. And even if you don't have a great idea, use references, look at your old art and fill up the paper with drawings that you don't care about because eventually there will be one that you do care about. Also something that you might not consider a great idea for a drawing might be a great idea for somebody else. I don't consider any of my drawings to be very original. I'm not coming up with stuff that hasn't been seen before, but even if it has been done before, it wasn't done by me and all of us see the world in a different way. Even if we draw the same things, they will end up looking completely different and unique. So there really is no practical step-by-step -step guide on how to come up with ideas. I have a Pinterest board with stuff that I like to look at. I watch a lot of movies and I draw a lot. And the next one. Who are your artistic inspirations? And do you listen to music when you draw? I have a lot of artists that I love. I don't even know where to start. Um, I really enjoy Junji Ito's work, um, both his storytelling and his art. And I think manga and anime in general was always my biggest art influence. Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball is what got me started to draw. I got away from that a bit. Um, when I look through my older Instagram posts, I can see that I was a bit more realistic in the last couple of years. Still very stylized, but nothing like my recent work. So I guess I circled all the way back to where I started. I don't really listen to music when I draw. I prefer chatter in the background, but I do change things up every now and then. Right now I'm into true crime, as I mentioned, and before that it was uh, Twitch. I listened to a lot of Twitch streamers and for that it was movies or audiobooks. So it's a constant rotation of things in the background. <laughs> How do you stay motivated to keep going? Do you ever get overwhelmed in the middle of a drawing? Yeah, I, I mean I constantly ditch drawings or paintings. Sometimes I notice mistakes pretty late and then I don't see the point in finishing them. So I either start over or put the sketch aside for a later time. But I don't really get overwhelmed by the amount of work that has to be done to finish it. There are parts that I enjoy working on over other parts, but 
If it's going well, then my brain is turned off anyway and I don't even think about that stuff. The process of working on something, just the activity of creating, is the part I love the most. And that's pretty much what keeps me going, so finishing something is only kind of a byproduct of that. And I think that's why I often feel so indifferent about my art once it's finished. There are of course days when I'm frustrated because it feels like I can't do it, like nothing I do works out. But that's also a part of being an artist and I don't get mad at myself when that happens. I know that eventually it will pass and I can let myself fall again. How much coffee do you take within a day? Have you ever been too dependent of coffee to help you with your art making? I drink way too much coffee, probably, but I never thought about it having any connection to my art process. If anything, I think it's probably more of a hindrance because I get shaky hands pretty quickly, so that's not really helpful or good. Um, sometimes I have to cut out parts of the video where my hands are shaking like crazy because, <laughs> because I don't want anybody to be worried about me, like there's something wrong. <laughs> But I switched to drink a bit more tea recently, so I'm taking care of that. And maybe you could try to slowly switch to coffee without any caffeine to trick your brain. I don't know if that's something that works out for you or maybe switch to tea. But I do hope that you manage to, you know, get off of the coffee. I know it's not that healthy to drink coffee all day long, but it tastes so good. Would you ever consider selling a tattoo ticket, like someone paying you for permission to use one of your drawings for a tattoo? I keep forgetting to mention this because I actually get this question pretty frequently, but if you seriously want to have one of my drawings stabbed into your body somewhere, then go ahead. I don't know how tattoo artists feel about this though, if you can just walk up to them with some Instagram post and be like this. I think I had a conversation about this with a tattoo artist and he told me that people sometimes turn up with some random tiny drawing they found somewhere on the internet and he, he is never too happy about that situation but I don't know, maybe it depends on the artist. I, I never got a tattoo so I don't know how this process looks. But there are artists that offer tattoo commissions so that would be probably a better choice getting a nice big crisp drawing that you can hand to your tattoo artist. But again, if you really want to use my art and it works out, then go ahead. Same goes if you want to redraw my art and post it somewhere. If you want to tag me, great. If not, then yeah, I, well, I probably don't know about it and I can get mad. I'm not that protective about my art. If you want to use it for practice or for personal use, like a tattoo, then I don't really mind. The only thing I would be upset about if somebody takes my art and then sells prints or puts it on a t-shirt to sell that, yeah, that would be pretty shitty, but other than that, I don't care. How do you approach creating characters? Do you have a clear image in mind before you start or do you use references? Um, I do both. Sometimes I already know exactly what I want, but that's pretty rare and I use a shit ton of references. Sometimes a reference can kickstart an idea, so I start with a reference because I like something specific about it and then I move on from that. I don't really stick to a reference to draw exactly what I see. I use photos of men and children, even though I was drawing a girl, because there was something particular about that photo that I like. Do you have a favorite theme or motive that makes you want to draw? Do you get inspired by other art, like music or poetry? And do you have any other passion than art, and if so, does it influence your art? I think it's pretty clear that I like to draw girls. I draw guys every now and then, and I do want to make a point to do that more often. So yeah, I just like drawing people. I think the only other thing that I'm really passionate about is movies, watching movies, especially dark and creepy ones. If I watch a shitty movie, I could rant about it all day, and if I watch a good one, then I keep thinking about it. And I'm sure they influence my art in a way. Most of the girls I draw could be final girls, I guess. I haven't watched a great movie in a while, though. Nowadays, I spend my evenings watching a couple of episodes of One Piece. And I think I'm somewhere around episode 600. The end of the Marineford arc was... Uh, yeah... I cried a lot. <laughs> 
like the big ugly one piece cry with a lot of snot and everything and I'm still mad about it like what the fuck was he doing crawling around on the ground not paying attention we were almost out of there why what is your favorite medium to work in for sketches and your favorite for finished works I used to sketch a lot with mechanical pencils but nowadays I prefer regular pencils more um, currently I'm using the Stabilo Schwan HB two and a half and I think watercolor is still my favorite for colored illustrations. I started using it again after I ditched Inktober and I'm a lot happier with it than I used to be but I think that's less because I improved in watercolor it's more that um, I spend a lot more time drawing in general and I'm putting more effort into getting the sketch or the line out right before I even pick up the brush so yeah, I, I started enjoying it a lot more now. Okay, so now for the last bit, um, I got a lot of questions about just general stuff like finding style or how to improve your art. And I know this sucks, but a lot of it can be answered with just draw a lot, which is, <laughs> which is a really annoying answer and it's so unspecific, but it's only thing that I can really say. I never took any art classes. I didn't learn by one specific method, which doesn't mean that that isn't helpful. And you should take all of the resources that are available to you, but everyone learns differently and something that might work for one person might not work for somebody else. And at the end of the day, if you don't put in the time, then you won't see any results and only you can really even know what results you want to see. Do you want your art to be more realistic or more stylized, detailed or minimal, dynamic? Do you need to study anatomy if you enjoy drawing plants more? If somebody asks me, hey, I want to be better at drawing people, what should I do? Then I don't really know how to answer that other than draw a lot of people. Because I don't know what they want their art to look like. I don't know what makes them think that somebody else's art is better. Is it the proportions? If you feel your proportions are off, then work on that. Is it a pose? Practice a bunch of different poses. There really isn't one solution to better art. And if you're in it, you're in it for life. There will always be something to work on. And I know that 10 years from now, I will still sit there and think, hmm, yeah, no, this, this is shit. And I don't really have a problem with that because it actually makes me pretty excited. There is no end goal, there is no finish line, there will always be something to improve and to work on. I kind of like this idea, I like the constant change of art. This is pretty much it. If I haven't answered your question, then it's something I want to talk about next time. But right now I can't talk anymore and there's still so much video left. So I cut out all of the parts of me doing nothing and I was left with around an hour of pure drawing. And even though that's only half of the footage I started with, again, I'm not doing a full voiceover, I'm done. <laughs> so I will put on some music and speed up the rest of me drawing. Um, if you are interested in more real-time videos and don't care about me talking constantly, then please do let me know. And if you are interested in shorter videos where maybe I draw just something really small but you want to see it from start to finish in real time, then also let me know. Even if you don't let me know, I'm still gonna try both and see if somebody out there likes it. Uh, thank you to everybody who asked me something and thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day or night and stay safe. Take care. Bye.